There's an ongoing religious debate about how technical a manager needs to be. What's your take on the level of technicality that a manager needs to have? A little bit like, should an engineer have a have a degree or, or a formal education? Mm -hmm. And my view is like, it, it helps a lot, but we've seen a lot of people without any formal education succeed. In fact, if you look at some of the, the best engineers, they're self-taught and, and, and so on, especially in games, or but, but even in big tech. So just putting it out there, I think managers come in all shapes and forms. And I think the mindset is, is the most important thing. So if someone is not as technical or has not been a developer, I have heard stories. I've not worked with them, but I have stories of, of amazing managers who are not technical, but they were so curious and really good uh, as, as, as with people, really good at motivating people. And, you know, one of the, the people who we could probably point to as this is like Steve Jobs, who was not as technical, but it turns out he was a great CEO and helped create amazing things just by pushing people. So I think there's environments where were even non-technical, like managers with not a technical background, meaning they were never coders or, or never developed, could succeed as engineering managers. That being said, I think it's just so much harder. So I've heard this story from booking.com. At some point, apparently they, they said like, okay, managers do not need to be technical. They do not need to be software engineers, engineering managers. And so they let, you know, people apply to roles. And, and we had a mix of technical, we used to be software engineers, managers, and people who are not. And what I've heard a few years later is, these managers were struggling, the non-technical ones generally. Not everyone, but most of them struggled. And what this meant in the Netherlands is this thing called burnout leave, where if you've got a burnout, it's a yeah. medical condition and, and you can go on leave for like six, to like several months. And a lot of them went on that because it's just so much harder to do the job of working with developers when you cannot go into the details. Amazon has this principle. I've never worked at Amazon, but this principle really, really resonates with me. The go deep principle. I think if you are a manager of any, of any sort, engineering manager or managing like architects or plumbers or something, if you cannot do the work that people do under you, you're going to have a problem. Like it really helps to be technical, to, to be able to go deep. And honestly, it's so much fun to learn about everything. So like, I believe I should know everything that my team does. If there's an outage, I should know exactly why it happened. And, you know, I'm going to educate myself. I mean, I'm not going to step in and like, you know, take over people's work, but I owe it to myself. Like, how can I... I just believe in, in knowing the details.